Hi, my name is Charles Morrill and I'm a guide here at Monticello. Living on top of a mountain has its hazards. It's absolutely beautiful, but then as now, we get these enormous thunderstorms rolling through the Virginia countryside. And being on top of a small mountain, lightning is a problem. People began to wonder about what lightning was, and one of those people was our own Benjamin Franklin. In the late 1740s and the early 1750s, Franklin knew more about electricity than almost anyone else. And uh, he theorized that that stuff, lightning, was also electricity. And he set out on a series of experiments to prove this, the most famous being the kite experiment. And he really did come up with the idea of a lightning rod. It has to be said here that other people in Europe were working on similar ideas. There was work in Russia and in Eastern Europe about this as well, also France. So to say that Franklin was the sole inventor of the lightning rod is maybe a bit much, but he certainly did come up with a version, a practical version that worked. Thomas Jefferson, uh, fascinated with uh, electricity uh, as well at this time, he installed a lightning rod on his house here at Monticello. We have a couple of watercolors of it. If you look at them, you can just dimly see a long, tall spear of what looks like uh, wrought iron uh, sticking into the heavens. In the chimney behind me, you can still see what may very well have been the iron brackets that held it. Lightning rods at Jim Jefferson's time, uh, in deference to Benjamin Franklin, were called Franklins or Franklin rods. And it would have consisted of the rod on the chimney and uh, some sort of wire or chain conducting the electricity then down into the ground where it would have been dissipated. We haven't seen any evidence on the side of the house of a cable or chain right here. However, some years back, the archaeology department did find a iron rod buried in the ground, more or less underneath that chimney right there. I would love to say to you that yes, we have found Thomas Jefferson's ground rod, uh, but we do not know this is so because in the same sort of trench, they also found some china that appears to date from a little later from the Jefferson era. So we can't conclusively say that this uh, iron rod that we have found is Jefferson's ground rod, but it's fun thinking about. In 1847, Isaac Granger, who later went by the name of Isaac Jefferson, dictated his memoirs to a clergyman. Isaac had been enslaved here at Monticello. He was a, a metal worker, a tinsmith, a blacksmith and he told the clergyman that in fact Monticello had been struck by lightning. And he also says this wonderful, wonderful phrase that Jefferson told him, if it hadn't been for that Franklin, the whole house would have gone. <laughs>